Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the previous videos, we learned how to design header and footer template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now in this video, we are going to design a template for the single page. Now you can see that this is the header that we designed and this is the footer template that we designed. Now this page does not have any content. You will see that there is no content on this about us page. Now we are going to create a template for the single page which will be applied for all the inner pages except the home page. For the home page we are going to create a completely different template. While creating this single page template we will also learn how to create a sidebar in Hello Elementor theme. Hello Elementor theme does not have sidebar so we are going to create a sidebar using template and Hello Elementor theme and this sidebar will be applied to all the inner pages except the blog post we are going to create a separate sidebar for the blog post also so let's start with this video i'm already logged into the dashboard of this wordpress website now let's go to templates and then go to theme builder now here you will see the option single page click on single page right now we do not have any template for the single page so click on add new now these are the pre-designed pro templates that you can use However, in this video, we are going to create the template from the scratch. So let's close this one. Now this is the header section and this is the footer section. Now we are going to create the single page template. Let's start with the title section for the single page. So click on this plus sign and select the single column here. Now we are going to add an image, the background image for this title section. So for this section, go to style. Here click on background type, select the image. I'm going to upload this image as a background for the title. Okay, now let's set up the position to be center center. Let's make it scroll, no repeat and cover. Okay, now let's add some padding also. Padding to the top and to the bottom. Okay, let's make it 80, 80. Let's have some overlay color on this image. So go to style again, go to background overlay. Here we are going to assign some black color so that the white title will look good. So I have selected black color as the overlay and opacity I am going to increase it. So it will look more black and for this image I'm going to change it to fixed so that you will see some effect here so this is the background image for the title now click on this plus sign and look for page title so I'll search for title and here is the page title just drag it and drop it here now let's make it central align the HTML tag will be h1 style let's change the color to white typography I'm going to change the font to let's say 40 let's say 50 so it will automatically display the title of this page here if you want to change the font you can change the font from here all right so this is the title of this particular page now let's add two column section here okay now let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom all right so leave it as it is now in this section we are going to add a sidebar for the inner pages so let's go to the dashboard of the website again and we are going to create a sidebar template for this inner page so let's go to the dashboard, go to templates and then go to save templates. Now click on add new. So this is the sidebar template. So select section. Okay, now name it as sidebar for single page. We will be having a different sidebar for blog post. So this is the sidebar for the single page. Click on create template. Right, so let's close this one okay now let's add this section here 
and here I'm going to add a title. We are going to actually add a contact form and some images in this sidebar. So select the title and let's say contact us. Let's have some background. Go to the advanced settings, go to background. We are going to change the background color of this title to let's say blue. Okay, and now let's add some padding. Okay, now let's center align it. Okay, so this is the title for the form. Now let's go to the elements and search for the form. We are going to add a contact form here. So this is the form, click, drag it and drop it here. Okay, name, email, and let's add one more field that will be phone. So I do have a separate video on how to create form using Elementor Pro. So you can watch that video also to understand how to create the form in Elementor. Okay, so we have name, email, phone, and message. So let's not show the label here. Okay, and change the color of the button. So go to style buttons and change the background color to let's say black all right so this will be the part of the sidebar now let's say we are going to add a gallery so i'm going to add the i have copied the same title here and i'm going to change it as gallery or well, let's say we are going to add services here okay so this will be the section of the services. We are showing the services that we provide on our website. So this is the title for the services. Now let's select the icon list. All right now let's change this icon to dot circle. And the first service that I'm going to provide on this website is website design whatever services you are providing you can show the services here in the sidebar so let me copy the same one website design then let's say logo design search engine optimization let's say SEO the fourth service will be e-commerce website so these are the four services that we are going to provide on this website. So this is just the dummy content that we are using here. So let's go to the style, change the space between. Icon color, let's change it to blue and change the size to let's say 22. The text color, let's make it dark black and the size will be 22. All right, so these are the four services that we are going to provide on this website. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to add services on this website, on this dummy website, and then we will link these icons to the respective services pages. All right, so right now just click on publish. So this is the sidebar that we are going to use for the single page, and we have published this sidebar. So let's go back to the single page template. Here, click on this plus icon and search for template now drag and drop it here now from here search for the sidebar template that we created sidebar for single page this is the name of the template select it now you will see the sidebar here that we just created right so this is the template single page template that we are going to use now you can add many sections as you wish for now I'm going to use only this title section and this is the sidebar so let's publish it and include pages all all right now let's save and close now let's go back to the dashboard go to pages now let's go to edit select default template and click on update now click on view now you will see the template that we have used 
so when you go to the about us page you need to select this under settings the template will be default template not the elementor full width okay now you will see the title section here the contact us page and the services page now here you can add the content for the page here now in this section you can add whatever content you want let's say we are going to add some text this is the dummy text that i'm going to use on this page all right so this is how it will look okay we can add image if you want all right now let's click update and let's refresh this page and you will see the complete page here now this template will be used for all the inner pages so just make sure that let's try it on another page that will be services page just make sure that this template should be on default template and let's view the page so you will see the template here the title the contact form and the services page the page is blank because there is no content on this page so this is how you can design single page template using elementor theme builder now in the next video we will see how to design single post template using elementor theme builder so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips